Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today it's just me, you get just me. Uh, but that's because I'm going to be talking about laser hair removal. It has been a wild ride. So I'm here to share all of the tips, tricks, I don't know, mostly just my experience. I asked on Instagram your biggest questions about laser hair removal and we're gonna answer some of those. These are answers to your questions based on my personal experience. So it doesn't mean that it'll be the same for you. I don't know what it will be like for you. All right, let's start from the top. What company did you go to? I am currently going to Milan Laser Hair Removal. Fun fact, they have 250 locations, which was a selling point for me because if I am going to move to a different state, I know that I can go to the same place that I've always been to. So I kind of liked that. I also like Milan because they have certified nurses doing this day in, day out. This is the only thing they do, which gives me a lot of confidence that they know what they're doing and they know the best practices for it. I wanna go to the very best, especially with something like this. And a bonus, they have unlimited packages. I don't know any other laser hair company, removal company that does that. Uh, every time you get laser hair removal done, they're like, that's it. If you want touch-ups um, in the future or just an extra session, we, we will charge you. And Milan doesn't do that. They say, here is your flat rate. You're set to jet. You can have free touch-ups for life, which was a huge selling point for me, especially as a blonde because you never know with blondes how the lasers are going to work. So I can get on the touch-ups. It'll be great. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? Next question is how much does it cost? Now I know that Milan does promos, different promos every month. The best option for you to do, especially with them, is to go get a free consult. They'll break it all down for you there. But I do know that uh, their average cost for like the Brazilian unlimited package is around 3200 depending on the promotion. You might be able to get less than that just because sometimes they're doing 50% off packages and things like that. Well worth it in my opinion. By the way, I have like a $250 discount code if you want. You might as well. I know their prices are going up in February. It's currently January. So this is your moment, you guys. My code is ShayleeT250. So just let them know. They'll knock $250 off any of your uh, packages except for full body. So PSA. And the reason why I like Milan is because, again, those unlimited packages as a blonde, I don't want to pay $3,000 and walk away and still not be hair free, you know, and be like, it didn't work. I didn't get my money's worth. No, with the unlimited packages, I can just keep going back. On to the next question. For someone whose hair grows fairly fast, is it worth it in your opinion? Yes. Guys, I've only got two treatments done. Like, I'm doing a whole video on this after only two treatments. If that tells you anything, it's that I love it so far. If I didn't get any other treatments done, I would still be happy because my hair is, like, <laughs> way more manageable than it used to be. It's more convenient. I love it. <laughs> this question says, for the upkeep of it, how often... Do you have to go in an average person go has seven to ten sessions and you have to space those sessions out five weeks apart so do the math it kind of takes a while but that obviously depends on your body and the hair so do you shave first or don't shave okay <laughs> you don't shave for the consultation so that they can see the hair and see if it's actually going to work they may not ask to see it. Just say, can a nurse check so I know that this is something that's actually worth it for me. My nurse did tell me that I might have too blonde of hair in some sections uh, that might not get fully lasered. I'm okay with that because <laughs> the majority of the hair that's bothering me is the darker ones. So it doesn't even bother me that as long as those are gone, that's really the end game goal. 
this all started because you guys wanted to know if it worked on blondes and I said I will try it for you. But I know that it's also possible that that hair will never get completely gone, but the majority of it will. That's worth it for me. You do shave when you're getting a treatment done. So you have your consult, now you've scheduled a treatment appointment. You do shave that area, whatever body part you're getting done for the treatment. Make sure you do that. Is it awkward? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Probably for some people it's not, but for me, 100%, it was so awkward. Someone also asked what part of my body I'm getting it done. I'm getting a Brazilian. I haven't been to a lady doctor in a while. That is very uncomfortable for me to like, be like that. <laughs> Guys, I don't talk about things like this. This is, ah. anyway. <clears throat> when I remember that the certified nurse has done this a million times, it's really not a big deal. She's not judging me. It's just standard practice. However, don't think that you can be modest in any way. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> so I would recommend getting, like scheduling with one nurse the entire time because then you don't have to do that whole awkward dance with other people. You can just stay with one person who's just seen you. <laughs> okay, the question everybody wants to know is how bad is the pain. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, okay? The first session, it's really not that bad. The thing about Milan is because this is the only thing they do. I trust them that they know the best procedures to get you as smooth as possible. However, they do not have you use numbing gel. I have friends who have gotten laser hair removal. They had numbing gel, they recommended numbing gel, all these things. Milan does not. Um, you can take Advil or Tylenol to help with the pain prior. I recommend it. The first session is like a rubber band snapping on you. So it's really not terrible. It feels hot, like a hot rubber band. Yeah, no, you're gonna feel it. <laughs> the second session is a little more spicy and I hear that it just gets spicier and spicier. So I'm a little nervous for those but I'm committed because I love the results. It's gonna be fine. You'll be fine. It's really not anything you can't handle. Don't be scared. And then you can like build up the courage each time. It'll be great. You'll be great. I am cheering you on. I'm gonna be honest. I saw Elise Myers, if you guys follow her on TikTok or Instagram, she posted about her laser hair <laughs> removal, um, about how everybody lied to her. It doesn't hurt and then I had decided I was gonna get laser hair removal and I saw it like that same day and it freaked me out the anxiety <laughs> but I love her and I'm grateful she shared because we need real ones anyway tag her below I love her I think this is also a valuable question someone asked was it terribly painful everywhere or in just some spots honestly there are some spots that are a little more painful than others so just keep that in mind. Like some parts of your body are gonna be more sensitive than other parts of your body, but it only lasts a couple seconds. They like mark you where they're gonna laser you and it goes by so fast. Guys, thank you so much for asking all of these questions. These were all questions that I had too. So I'm so glad that I could maybe help, hopefully like walk you through the process. I'm not lying when I say, I think this is so worth it. <laughs> like I can't even express how excited I am and how happy I am with Milan laser hair removal. Please consider getting a free consult because they're more qualified than I am to answer all the rest of those questions. Hopefully I answered all of your questions. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And as always, keep dancing.